What's that? Amiibo GameStop reported $488 million in profit loss in its third physical quarter. Holy shit. Um, I'm going to be completely honest here, man. GameStop, you did it to yourself. Sorry. I wish I could blame digital distribution. I wish I could blame shitty content. I wish I could blame Bethesda. I wish I could blame uh, Konami, EA. I wish I could do it, man. I really do. But the facts are, GameStop, you are the epitome of how to fuck up an easy business. The epitome. GameStop should be like the one job anybody can fucking do. Should be the one job. But as you've heard time and time and time again, especially on YouTube here, it's a nightmare. It's fucking abysmal. It's it's possibly the worst job you could have. And that's saying a lot. You reported, I think it was like a year and a half ago, maybe a full two years ago. I'm not sure exactly when this was said, but I remember saying something about it. I know I got a video from a long time ago talking, to, excuse me, talking about it. And that's GameStop was supposed to close like 500 fucking stores. The The news for GameStop is never going to be good. It's It's never going to be good. They're constantly getting smacked in the face left and fucking right with shitty service, pushy fucking salespeople because it's the company, not the salesperson, but pushy fucking sales uh, service, shady business practices, <coughs> uh, the circle of life, anyone? Seriously. GameStop, you're losing so much money because your head is up your ass. If you were an actual company to compare to one of these companies you sell, it's Sony. Dead serious. Sony's customer service is for shit. They make an possibly dumb fucking moves and, and they think, oh, it's going to turn out great. GameStop, you do the same shit. You make stupid fucking decisions and then they don't work out and you act surprised. Oh, you think I'm making this up. That's weird. Let's run through the record of Sony's fuckery with just this generation. They themselves killed off the PS Vita. Seriously. That, that was their decision. And it wasn't like all they had to do was actually come out with a third version of the PS Vita that used non-proprietary memory cards and it would have sold fine. That, that, that couldn't be the case. Fuck. It is. Okay, so that aside, what else did they do? They're saying PlayStation VR is a success when it's in less than 5% of current PS4 owners' homes. Really? Like, nobody's gonna say that's fucking stupid. Okay, let's keep digging. PlayStation was so anti-consumer for three fucking years with the... You, as the customer, have to physically go in and increase the memory size because they didn't want to put a terabyte in the fucking PS1 or PS4. Even though Xbox One had, had a terabyte since about six months to a year after its fucking release. Still not convinced. That's fucking amazing. Okay, let's dig a little further, because we could basically just go off... I could have just said the PS1 Classic and compared it to that. But I'm choosing to compare it to all of Sony's dumb shit. They released a MP3 player for $1,000. Yeah, that was done this generation. I know it's not game-related, but that's something Sony, as a dumb fucking company, decided to fucking do. I wish I was making that up. Uh, Rich of Review Tech USA has a video on it, and I watched that and was thinking, why in the fuck are you charging a thousand dollars for something you don't even have to pay fifty for? 
let's keep digging because I'm going to go through more than just video games. Televisions. Sony still makes televisions and I don't know why. Because you can walk into any Target, any Walmart, any Best Buy, and you can literally compare side by side the Sony brand TV and the Samsung, Vizio, Panasonic, any television to the Sony brand of the same size, same price, and Sony does not take home the crown nine out of ten times. GameStop. You make decisions just as dumb as Sony. And the fact Sony is still in fucking business is amazing. You could say, oh no, you're just picking on Sony. I'm really not. Look at how they have fucked and botched the PS1 classics. They pretty much shit on their whole entire fan base. Who helped build them to what they are today. Still believe in supporting them for some fucking reason. So... That being said, I've presented several cases as Sony being the dumb shit they are and why they can be compared to GameStop because GameStop makes dumb fucking decisions too. Circle of life. Pushy ass salespeople. Bogus policies. And just all around, you don't want to go. I mean, seriously, why would you have a store... That is supposed to be the most inviting environment in the world, and it is the most fucking confusing, most ass backwards, jaded fucking job you could ever have. Seriously, I want to know. So, let's say this. Them losing almost half a million, no, half a billion dollars in the third quarter doesn't surprise me at all if anything GameStop this should be the kick in the ass that wakes you the fuck up somebody needs to somebody needs to go in there and beat the holy shit out of somebody until you wake the fuck up because you're gonna go out of business well before you probably should due to not understanding your customer base due to Pushing shit on people that nobody wants. Creating programs and then abandoning them. Seriously. Anyone who remembers being an elite? Seriously, come on now, nobody. Fuck out of here. And in case you were wondering, yes, the company was lazy when it came to the elite program. Because all of a sudden, pro member prices were no longer on the fucking price tags. And I actually asked several different employees at GameStops in my area. Do you ever plan to let me know as a pro consumer, as a, um, as like that, you know, $15 a year consumer, do you plan on letting me know what the cost of my game is instead of having me look on my phone while I'm standing in your fucking store? Like, any of that clicking? <sighs> GameStop. Here's the thing, I don't really want to see you go under because, honestly, who the fuck am I going to go buy special edition games from? Best Buy? No, fuck that, no. Best Buy actually doesn't really have that great of a price unless you have Gamers Club, and I'm going to be honest with you, I don't have Gamers Club, I don't care to. And Best Buy doesn't carry boxed boxed limited edition uh, 3DS games. They don't carry certain limited edition games. The The pros to GameStop is you can get any limited edition game that your mind can think of when it comes out. GameStop is your place. Best Buy isn't. Best Buy has a small section. That, that video I made a while back talking over how Nintendo's selection versus Xbox One and even the PS4 is tiny in comparison. Best Buy, you are still key example of that. Target has actually changed and gave them more room because they have grown crazy big um, this generation. And that's not for just the Switch, that's also for the 3DS. They like have a fucking almost double-sided aisle for just Nintendo. Target, that's a good job. Walmart, you still kind of shitty. But Best Buy, you barely even give them half a fucking aisle. 
like I've said, I said in that video, I don't know if it's a conspiracy where they bought the, the shit or Nintendo doesn't want to give you money for it. I don't care. But the fact of the matter is you don't offer a shit in, in comparison. And this is where GameStop actually shines. They don't care which company is which. And yes, they do buy parts of that store. And if GameStop was smart, they would stop doing that and actually put equal amount of space to equal company. Instead of trying to merge GameStop and fucking Think Geek, like that's gonna do anything. If we don't go to Think Geek, we don't care to see it in GameStop. And that's a fact. I don't give a fuck about Mega Man helmet in GameStop. Well, it's a video game accessory, like it's a collectible for a video game. Why, why does that bug you? Because it takes away from the actual reason I go to GameStop. This is a con, even though it's a pro for GameStop. They have all that space. And they want to eat up majority of the space with junk you don't care about seeing, even though it's video game related or pop related. You just don't care to see it. You go to GameStop, and I've said this several times, for video games. I swear to God, this is a concept lost on the CEO who needs to be fired. If I'm going to GameStop, I want games. There's like, what? 40 to 50 different type of consoles now you only offer five to six ps3 360 and the wii and the wii u those are all still there and those are considered retro now you're asking consumers to trade in their ps2 their original xbox their gamecube their 64 their playstation 1 their sega genesis their sega dreamcast master system Anything else that you can think of that's a retro system, where are they going? What, what, what are you doing with them? Why can't I go in the store and just pick up a fucking retro system? Well, because you don't carry them in stores. Stop asking for them. I shouldn't have to go on your website to get a retro system if I traded one in a week ago. You see what I'm saying? Positive and con at the same time does not help your situation. In fact, you can see that in your fucking numbers. Video games are what GameStop is supposed to be the best at. Somehow, they're the worst. 488 million dollars down. I don't know who the CEO is. But he needs to be under investigation from the board of directors to be fired because he has lost a fuck ton of money. Do you understand? I can't imagine any other company where you lose half a billion dollars and you get to keep your job. There's no investigation as to why the company is losing that much money there's no internal investigation going well what if we try this what if we try that what if we because we have all these fucking stores what if we chose like 500 of them bitches and put everything in it that has nothing to do with thinking what if we made GameStop an all-in-one video game store we've been buying retro systems what if we actually made the store good enough to show the retro and the current gen games. Not one person at GameStop headquarters has thought that. Then somebody do me a favor and go in the fucking office and kick everyone in the ass and tell them they're fired because honestly, I I'm being honest with you, even though I don't like GameStop, a gaming store like it ought to be is needed. Why do you think these mom and pop retro stores are, like, gaining more money? Why do you think that fucking half a billion dollars isn't in your pocket? It's in those stores. We have people in my town, when I go to GameStop, who talk about the stores that are over an hour away. And they're not GameStops. We have people who go in there who talk about places like Second and Charles. Who does carry old retros like Nintendos and N64's Dreamcast and Sega Genesis and others. And they carry 
PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch. It's amazing how a store that you can take shit you don't want to is better at doing the one job you're actually supposed to do. It's amazing when we when I walk into a GameStop, even the people behind the fucking counter will have conversations with me about these other retro stores. That's fucking insane. It's insanity, GameStop. There's no reason for me to go into a game store and the guy behind the counter and me start talking about, say, the N64. And he goes, yeah, man, I love to collect for that system. I go to Second and Charles or I go to uh, Still Collectibles or I go to fucking Gamers. It's fucking stupid. Okay? You need to go and you need to take out everything Think Geek. Everything. Every item. I don't care if it's video game related or not. If it says Think Geek, it does not need to be in GameStop. And you need to start putting all of the video games you've collected from your customers into your fucking stores. Fuck your online. Because it's only good for 25 miles any fucking way. So, think about that. I'm trying to help you GameStop. It might seem like I'm not because I've done called you Sony and I done proved how Sony and you are about as dumb as fucking Box Rocks. But this is actually me trying to help you. This is what this is. If you don't take the Think Geek shit out of these stores and start stocking them with games, which is why people come to you in the first fucking place, that $488 million is going to turn into a billion dollars next time you report. And it's just going to keep skyrocketing, and pretty soon you're going to be hemorrhaging fucking money. And you're going to just burn off the inventory you have because, hey, we don't have a choice but to close our fucking doors because we thought digital distribution was going to ruin us. But in fact, we ruined ourselves. GameStop, it's time for you to change. And it's time for you to change for the better. It's time you start listening to your fucking namesake. I've said it before. It's in the title. Game Stop. You stop here to buy games, and you don't even do that right. I wish, I really do wish I could say this was all made up, and it's just a load of shit. But one person out there, I guarantee you, is sitting there going, GameStop, I'm supposed to stop here for video games. Well, I went in there and asked them about a PlayStation 1 video game and they said I could reserve the PS1 Classic for $25 even though we all know it sucks see how this works in opposite of your favor how it works against you yet if I walk into a GameStop I should be able to say hey man I want to get a copy of Resident Evil 2 on the PS1 and I should be able to pick that up if you have it you might not but if you made available those PS1 games, those PS1 systems, those Dreamcast, those Dreamcast games, the N64 titles, and the systems, then you would be seeing a lot more fucking money. It used to be, oh, we don't get no money from that because there's not a big market. It's funny how that has changed because now you're taking every fucking thing. You're taking herpes, you're taking syphilis, you're taking fucking S any fucking thing. It's ridiculous. You're like, let me get the N64, let me get the Game Boy Color, let me get them herpes, let me get some syphilis over here, let me get some fucking uh, blue waffles on the side of that. Matter of fact, yeah, man, go ahead and bring us your computer. Like, what are you doing? Fucking morons, man. I said it and I'll say it again because right here is a receipt from a game that I bought um, on the 28th. It's not even a it's not even a game. It's for uh, Smash Bros. For Smash Bros. Something I can get at Target. I can get at Walmart. I went to GameStop because I like the poster they offer, and it's a double-sided poster, which is a weird dilemma because I don't know what side of that poster to go with. 
And when I bought Zelda, I got two of the double-sided posters, which is why there's one facing one way and one facing the other. So anyway, I'm just saying, do better. You know you can do better. So do better before it gets too late. Sony might not have another generation past the PS5, and I'm sorry, but I, I need to touch on this before I end this video. It's going to be a long-ass video. I know it's already been like 20 minutes, but this needs to be touched on. How in the fuck did you fuck up Black Friday, Sony? To mention something stupid you've done recently. How did you fuck that up? You had one PS4 bundle for $200. One. You could have easily stole this Black Friday. You could have easily stole this past Black Friday. You could have. 2018 could have been yours. You had zero fucking promotions for the pro. And the PS4s with no Spider-Man in them were regular price. Oh no, I went to Best Buy and I went to Target and I went to a Walmart and I saw PlayStation 4s still on the floor, just sitting there. Nobody was picking them up. I saw PS4 Pros, I saw regular PlayStation 4s, I saw them both and nobody was buying them. Xbox legitimately was like, fuck it, take $100 off the Xbox One X. And I know what you're thinking, it's not $100 off, it's only 50 Until you realized a lot of those Xbox Ones had a game with them, which is a $60 value. So in reality, you got like $110 off. They had a PS, uh, Xbox One X with a copy of Red Dead Redemption 2, 450 bucks. They had one with Fallout 76, and even though the backlash of that game has been horrific and funny at the same time, it was still $110 off the overall price if you would have bought it in October. What the fuck were you doing, Sony? Were you just sitting in the back, like, laying there and fucking trying to hammer some shit? Like, what were you doing, trying to fuck the PS4 Pro or something? I don't know what you're doing. I don't think anybody knows what you're doing. I saw people pass up the Pro. I saw people pass up the Slim. All because you put one bundle on sale. So congratulations, Sony. You're fucking stupid. The Switch had a great Black Friday from what I understand. And it makes sense. There were multiple fucking bundles. Hey, you don't care about Smash? We got a Diablo bundle. Hey, you don't care about Diablo? We got a fucking Dark Souls bundle. Huh. We Here's a main selling point for Black Friday. They had a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe bundle. On top of the Splatoon 2 and Mario Odyssey 1, Nintendo was not playing. So, round of applause, everybody, for Sony and their fucking stupid shit. Um, what about PSX? It's not happening. How about play, uh, how about fucking E3? It's not happening. Sony, you're on a downward spiral, and it's fucking hard to watch. I've said it before in past videos. I'll say it again. Sony, your doors are probably going to close here sooner than you think. I don't like saying that. I'm not a Sony hater. I'm not. I have PS3, PS2, PS1, fuck PS3 because that was an abomination. But still, the damage felt by the PS3 was so ground shattering that it literally shook Sony's foundation to its core. I'll say it forever. It's true. The, the sins committed by the PS3 are so bad that they were felt this generation. They were felt in such a way that being the number one selling console couldn't be as glorious as it should have been. It couldn't be as monumental. It couldn't be a celebration because Sony financially committed suicide with the PS3. They financially committed suicide with the PS3 so they cannot truly appreciate the PS4 generation. Sam Lyne 
But what other company have you ever heard of that cuts corners as much as Sony has this generation without any money issues? And before I end on another note, I'm going to continue to say that the PS fucking 1 Classic is a piece of shit. I didn't know that it didn't come with a power cord, but I found out it didn't come with a power cord. Way to fuck this up, Sony. Sony, you're going to go out of business and it's going to be your own fucking fault. GameStop, you're going to go out of business and it's your own fucking fault. I wish it wasn't. But I'm watching the death of these two juggernauts. And it's painful. Xbox is going to be around for a long time. Microsoft makes money hand over fucking fist with Windows. Microsoft has computers. That's a bigger fucking number than Oprah does. Xbox is not going anywhere. Unless they just decide, fuck it. Sony, name one thing you make outside of PlayStation that turns a profit. Name one. Can't do it because you're sitting there going, I don't know. Majority of people who own televisions don't own a Sony television. It's a Samsung or an LG or a Panasonic or even a Mitsubishi. Yes, the Mitsubishi cars also invest in televisions. I know, it's fucking crazy. Vizio outsells Sony. Sony, hear me out. Stop fucking up. You know how to be successful. You know how to make money. You know how to compete. You just choose not to. And you need to hurry up and start competing before this next generation gets underway because I'm going to tell you right now, your interest is fading fast. Everybody wants to know what the PS5 is. But they're not talking about each specs chart that comes out. Why is it only a basic Blu-ray player, Sony? You know the next Xbox is going to have 4K Blu-ray, which means Xbox is supporting 4K. All it's going to take for you to be a fucking flash in the fucking light or a fucking flash in the pants or whatever the fuck it's called. All it's going to take for you to go under if you don't take this serious is for Nintendo to come out with a fucking Switch version 2. Like, legitimately. If Nintendo decides to go all in and create a 1080p, 60 frames, and handheld mode Switch, 4K at 30 frames a second docked Switch, you're done for. It's that easy. Because Nintendo will be supporting 4K, Xbox will be supporting 4K, you'll be supporting... Standard Blu-ray. And guess what? We're no longer in the Blu-ray era. This isn't the PS3 anymore, Sony. Put your big boy pants on. Come to 2019 with me. I'm out this bitch.